Kundave Devi, who had been listening to the argument between Aralmas Hivarma and Kairatrasar, now went a little further and said, Grandfather! Uncle! Do you want to stand and talk at the door? Come in! Pani Selvan will not do anything despite your words. Malayaman and Velar came in. He looked at the younger Prati and said, Mother! If only the prince agrees to accept the title, there is no problem. We are the ones to do his bidding. The emperor is wondering when we will dethrone the kingdom. He wants to go to the golden palace built by the Kari Kalas at Kanchi and spend his last days in peace. Said. Uncle. I was telling the same thing to the prince when you two came. This girl intervened and complained. Hearing that, the prince went to jail and wanted to release her. Who is this girl? Why is she crying like this? Velar asked. Don't you know, uncle? This is Manamegala, the daughter of Sambuvarayar. Oko. Sambuvarayar will cry at the thought of being in prison. Don't cry, girl. The emperor has given an order to free your father and bring him back. Parthipendra Paul Avan has gone to the underground prison. Said Malay Aman. Grandpa. She's not just worried about her father. She's worried about the ape warrior. Set him free. I killed the prince, she wails. Said the youngest brat. Oh. If that's what she's saying, let's take her to the dungeon and lock her up. We can't free the mighty prince. Said Peria Velar. That is what I am asking, princess. Take me to his place and shut him up. She said. Sinadipati Velar pointed to his forehead with his finger and said in a soft voice, This woman seems to have lost her will. He said that. Vanathi, who had been idle until now, interrupted the conversation and said, Great father. Manamekali's will is right. It seems that you and Thiruko Valarb Patan are not right. Valadiavarazar Pani Selvara in prison is a wonderful friend of Pani Selvara. He was the one who took the straw from the younger Prati and brought Pani Selvara from Sri Lanka. The completeness of the prince who has reached the hero's paradise. He was a vessel of faith. Those who accuse him and keep him in prison must be deranged. She said. Aha! When did this girl become so loud? Vanati! Is this what you learned from the younger brat? Haven't you learned yet to keep your mouth shut in front of adults? If you're asked something, you should answer. Otherwise you should keep your mouth shut. Said Peria Velar. Malayaman, Commander. Why are you angry with this child? She has revealed what is in the minds of the people here. Said. Kundave said, yes. Uncle. It is no use for you and I to try to drive Vanati away. Tomorrow she will sit on the throne as the Empress of the Chola Empire. Then we and I will have to carry out her orders. She said. Isn't there a problem if only the word of grace is in tune with this? Can you command the release of all those in the underworld prison on the coronation? Said Malay Aman. You can also order them and me and all the outsiders to be locked up in the dungeon. Said Commander Peri Avilar. Sir. You are both great men. I am sorry to have to speak against you. Yet you are talking about something urgent. Before the prince said that, the commander said, Prince. Isn't it a very urgent matter to determine the title of the Chola country and prevent confusion? Said. You are forgetting that there is an emperor. Aralm as I said. We haven't forgotten. We just returned from seeing the emperor. He is the one who settled the kingdom's problem and is happy to go and live in the golden mansion built by Karagalar in Kanchi. Here I am going to the emperor. I will bring orders for the release of Vandiyadeva. Then, you will not object, will you? Prince. It is advisable to report to the emperor about Vandiyadeva. The emperor thinks that Vandiyadeva must have killed Kari Kalar by conspiring with the Pandya menaces and Nandini Devi. Aha! Uh -huh. Who made that thought? Not us, Prince. It was Parthipendra who made the emperor believe that. Then I will go and see Palavar himself. 
I will ask him on what basis Amathiri is accusing him. You can't meet Parthibendra Pallava now. With the Emperor's order, he has released Sambhavarayar and gone to Kudanda. There he met Palyavetarayar and other minor princes, and the Emperor has sent them to bring them immediately. He has sent a message that they can settle the right of the kingdom by compromise. He has also informed Madhurandaka that he is willing to give the title to him. Pani Selvar looked at the younger Prati and Vanatha with a bright face and said, You have told me very good news. It is not good news at all. Contrary to the wishes of the people and the opinion of the warriors, if Madhuranthakan ascends the Chola throne, then the doomsday will begin for the Chola Empire, which has been exalted for a hundred years, said Sinadipati. There is no doubt about it, confusion and riots will begin from the country of Ela to the North Pena River said Malay Aman. It looks like you two will preside over all of that, it's your choice. In the meantime, I'm going to petition the emperor to set Vandiyathivar free. Aromas Hivarmar said and turned to leave. Prince! Do not go with this request to the emperor. It will lead to great disaster, goddess. Stop their brother! said Commander Peria Velar. Yes, child. Listen to this old man," said Malajadare. So what mishap do you suppose will happen? Kundave asked. Some miscreants have spread a false rumor. My mouth is itching to say it. Two men came and told our army soldiers yesterday that Pani Selvar had sent Vandiyathevan to kill Kari Kalar because of his desire to rule the kingdom. God! What a terrible joke is this! said the youngest brat. Do you know what our soldiers did to those two? They were drowning in the north wind flood. I accidentally went there and saved them. Pawnee Selvar interrupted, No one in the Chola country will believe such a cruel lie. Don't you know from the actions of our soldiers? Said. They will not believe it today, Prince. They do not know the nature of people. After some time, this rumor will spread again. Some people who do not know them may believe it. In foreign countries, it is common for relatives to kill each other for the kingdom. Do you know the history of the royal dynasty of Eela? Commander! Are you telling me to leave my sole ally in the dungeon today so that a false rumor can spread later? Not later, Prince. If you take heart in Vandiyadeva's release today, some will believe the rumor tomorrow. Think how much their father's heart will be hurt if it reaches the emperor's ears. Pawnee Selvar's face became like a full moon hidden by a dark cloud. Kuntave looked at Devi and said, Sister! What are you saying? The younger Brady's face showed a look of pain. He looked at the elder Veeler and said, Commander! Who would have tried to spread such a cruel rumor? He asked. I alone took those who were drowning in the north entrance of our soldiers and asked them in politeness and fear. They said that it was Gondhamaran, the son of Sambhavarayar, who had sent this message. Then Manamegalai came forward and said, I am ashamed of what I have done. My brother, who was a good man, has become such a bad person because of the teachings of the young queen of Palvur. In fact, I am the one who killed Aditha Kari Kalar. Imprison me. Free valid Halavarasar immediately. She said with rage and tears. The younger bratty touched her back lovingly and said, Manamekalai. Calm down. No one will believe what you say like this. And they will start some scandal. Let's find a way to solve this problem. Then he looked at the commander and said, Sir. My brother and I agree with your advice. It is true that there is room for idle rumors because they are trying to free Valet Diavarazer. The real culprit must be found first. I will consult the Prime Minister Anurudha about this. His disciple Alwarkadayan has gone in search of the dangers of the Pandian country. He will bring some information. I do not know what has become of the great Palyavetare and the younger Queen of Palvur. Even if they are found, the truth may come out. Meanwhile, I will ask this woman all that happened in Kadampur. Until then, arrange for the comfort of Valet Diavarazer in the underground prison. I am sure that he did not commit this terrible crime of murder. 
she said. At this point, I have an idea, sister. Said the princess of Kajambalar. Say Vanati. Said Kundave. Remember the last time we both went to the underworld? We'll all go and see it today. We'll take the princess of Kadampur with us. Vanatha said. Kundave looked at Pariyavilar and said, Commander. What do you say about their Kumari's idea? She asked. It seems that my Kumari can also speak intelligently. The one who was with Kari Kalar at the same place on the night of his death is Valadi Avarazan. Even if you ask him, the truth can be revealed, said Senapati Pariya Velar. Immediately everyone went to the dungeon. Before leaving the fort, Chinapalyavetare stopped minting gold coins. So the mint was empty. There were only a few guards. They entered the tunnel beyond the place where the tigers were confined and reached the room where Valadiavarazan Vandiyathevan was confined. But they did not find Vandiyathevan there. In his room they found Pinyagapani, the son of a physician, chained to rings hung on the wall. When he saw them he said alas! Alas! Set me free, set me free! He screamed pitifully.